what it is that you're supposed to do. And I'm not saying quit your job. I'm saying find it and do just a little bit of it. When I wanted to become involved in speaking, I started just learning quotes, listening to other people's tapes, going to seminars, going to workshops, asking other people to help me. Just start working at it just a little bit, but do find out what your work is and hold on to it and don't let your dream go. Don't let it go. See, and here's a, something else I want you to begin to look at. Why is it that most people don't pursue their dreams or don't do better than what they're doing if they're capable of doing it? I think that many of us don't go the next step because we don't know what to do yet. <laughs> and I say that, that the reason that we don't even explore the possibility of what to do is because subconsciously we don't believe that it can happen for us and we don't believe that we deserve it. So here's what I'm suggesting. How much time do you spend working on you? How much time do you spend every day working on your dream? In the last 90 days, how many books have you read? In the last year, what new skill or knowledge have you acquired? What kind of investment have you made in you? So I'm saying that as you begin to look at where you want to go, if you want to make it today, and things are changing so fast, you have to literally run to stand still. I'm saying that you've got to make some conscious effort to begin to work to develop you. Here's something else. Most people are not living their dreams because of fear, ladies and gentlemen. I was in Columbus, Ohio yesterday speaking for a particular Ohio department. A young lady named Karen who greeted me, who organized the event. Very talented, very skillful. And she was talking about she wanted to become involved in the consulting business. I said, why aren't you doing it? I said, you have the abilities. I said, you're not here because they like you. You're here because you're doing the job. You're making things happen. And she came up with all kinds of ideas. But finally, she said, I guess I, I can't see myself doing it. I guess I'm afraid. Fear, limited vision, and lack of self-esteem is what keep most people doing things they don't want to do. I was flew from Columbus, Ohio to Denver, Colorado to a major communications company and the person that picked me up at the airport told me about the fact that the company was planning on having a major downsizing and they offered some of the employees there an early retirement and some of them will earn as much as $300,000. And they said, this is the last time that you can take this offer. If you don't do it, when we have the downsizing, you might be among those who will lose their jobs and all you will get is your severance pay. And only 50% of the people who were eligible to take the $300,000 took it. The others were afraid to take a chance on themselves. The others couldn't see themselves beyond that company. They couldn't see life after that company. The same reason that people stay in relationships where they're abused or they're unhappy or it's unfulfilling. They can't see themselves beyond that relationship. They can't see themselves enjoying life without that person. They think that this is all that they can do. The same reason that people get stuck at a certain level in life. They can't see things being better for them. And they think that this is it and this is all they deserve. This is all they've ever seen. It's been passed on to them. And they think that this is it for them. Pungare, Tambi Pungare, Pungare, Yendra Peyer Vangare, Pungare, Tambi Pungare.